Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what sold on Poshmark. And I've got some decent bolos here for you. But one thing that I love about Poshmark. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Is when people bundle. And why do people bundle on Poshmark? They bundle for that discounted shipping. Um, Poshmark shipping is really, really fantastic. It's just shy of $8, I believe. And if somebody bundles, they get everything in their bundle for that one shipping price. So, encourage bundling. Uh, what I do is I pop up, I, I think it says if you buy one item or more than one item, you get a discount or something. So encourage your people that are looking at your store with like a little pop-up that shows that they get a discount if they purchase more than one item. So that encourages people to bundle. All right, let's get started here. The first item I sold is this vintage neon Nevica jacket. And I don't have any of my notes for where I got it, what I paid for it, or what I sold it for. I can tell you what I sold it for because I'm looking at it, but I typically tell you all of the information. I'm going to go from memory here. Um, some of the items I'll remember, some of them I won't. Uh, I source really cheap, so I usually have a pretty good idea of what I paid for it. I remember this was at a garage sale, and I'm pretty sure it was like hanging on a tree. And I'm like, oh my goodness, those colors are fantastic. And I want to say I paid a dollar for it. I sold this for $128 plus shipping. Here's what I'm talking about right here. A bundle. Somebody bundled all of this jewelry. All of it. They bought this entire bundle from me. Now, they did make me an offer of $110. And I went ahead and took that because um, why not? Uh, I typically source my jewelry in bulk, so prices vary. I do source at many, many different places for my jewelry, and um, I think a lot of these items came from a garage sale bulk buy that I did, but offer was $110, Poshmark took $22, and my earnings on these items was $88. Now I am currently on Whatnot. And that is where I'm bringing my jewelry. Because if you look at this, <laughs> my descriptions of the jewelry are horrible. Necklace, earring set, necklace, bra uh, bracelet, necklaces, barrettes, keychain, necklace. I did get hematite on this one. Um, I knew what this was because it was on the box. Gold tone necklace statement piece, gold tone necklace. I have horrible keywords because I am not great at selling jewelry because I don't know what things are. Um, I really struggle with that. So whatnot is like perfect for me. I just bring all my jewelry. I sell it on whatnot. Um, it's auction style. So I start it at, you know, anywhere between a dollar and $5, depending on the piece. And then whoever's in the chat watching, they bid on the items. So if it's something good, they're going to bid it up. If it's not, then it's going to go cheap. But I can hold the item up and show the item and then I can just describe it the best I can because I don't know what stones are. I, I have a gemstone tester. It was an epic fail. Um, I, I just, whatnot is perfect for me for jewelry. So that is mostly what I've been selling over on whatnot. Um, I do uh, vintage stuff. I'm going to bring some toys in. So if you guys are not following me on whatnot, I would love for you to come over. Um, I am Bola Buddies, all one word, lowercase over on whatnot. There is a link down in the description. If you guys are not already on whatnot, you can get $15 to shop. That's free money if you use my referral link down below. If you want to sell on whatnot, which, oh my goodness, it is so fun because you're actually live. Um, I know Poshmark's doing live shows as well. Um, I have not tried Poshmark live. I don't plan to. Um, I'm really going to focus my time on whatnot. But if you want to sell on whatnot, definitely um, check out the seller link down below. 
So use the buyer link to join and then come back and use my seller link. And that will tell them that Bolo Buddies referred you. And if you have a referral, you're more likely to get accepted is what I have been told. I've had many people tell me that got accepted in five minutes, the same day, the next day. So um, it seems to be working. So definitely check out those referral links down below. So we are going to keep talking here and I've got some more bundles to show you, but I also have single items that I sold over on Poshmark. I picked these up at a garage sale. I want to say they were 50 cents or a dollar. They're Capizio girls tap dance shoes, size 10 and a half medium. Um, I pick these up when I can get them super cheap. They're usually pretty long tail. And a lot of times I will only put these on Poshmark. Um, I don't know why, but I just feel like clothing does pretty good on Poshmark. And this is typically something that may be flooded on eBay. Here is another um, bundle and it's pierced hoop ear studded earrings. Again, gold tone earrings pierced, just horrible, absolutely horrible titles. Um, I'm just going to apologize up front for my titles. So they offered me $70 and Poshmark took 14. So my uh, earnings on this, my net earnings was $56. Here is another bundle. And they offered me 40 for both of these. And this one, I was like, oh my goodness. Um, I don't know if I want to do 40, but I was like, it's a repeat buyer. And I knew the Coro necklace was really, really nice, but I didn't have much in these earrings. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take 40. Uh, Poshmark took eight and my earnings were 32 on that. These are a pair of men's Croc slip-on shoes. And if you guys saw my video of the mystery, I think it was supposed to be a mystery Christmas box. It ended up being a box of shoes uh, that I got from the thrift store. Uh, they do mystery boxes, which I don't think they're doing them anymore, unfortunately, because that was such fun video footage. But uh, yeah, I opened it up and I was like, surprise, you get shoes. And if you know anything about me, I am not a big fan of selling shoes. But there were some decent shoes in there. And my friend Erin came over and she's like, I'm going to help you list those shoes. So we laid them all out. We took our photos and she helped me get them listed and I got it done. And they're actually selling. And um, I think I only put them on Poshmark. So these sold for a best offer. I'm sorry, these sold for $30 plus shipping. This is a Susan Bristol sweater. It is kind of a Christmas sweater. I probably should have used Christmas. Oh, I did down here. Christmas ugly sweater. Um, it's not really ugly, but, you know, it could be used for an ugly Christmas sweater holiday party. Uh, so that's a good keyword. This took a long time to sell. This was very, very long tail. I started this out on eBay and I ended up cross posting it to Poshmark and Mercari. I use List Perfectly to cross post. Um, I absolutely love it. I've been using it since 2019. I start my items on eBay. That is my main platform. If you are not selling on eBay, I definitely recommend that you get over there because I sell way more on eBay than I do any other platform. But I also have more items on eBay. So I start on eBay. And when I have time, I sit down and I cross post to Poshmark and Mercari in bulk. So I can do a whole bunch at one time and just get those new items over to the other platforms. Um, if you want to check out how List Perfectly works, there is a video down in the description that shows you how to use the catalog. It also shows you how to list from one platform to another without the catalog. There are so many options with List Perfectly. I highly recommend it. If you decide you'd like to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. And again, that video is linked down in the description. Oh, I sold that sweater for $20. There is no way I don't think that I would have ever got $20 for that over on eBay. Sometimes on Poshmark, I think things sell for more. So when I'm cross posting, um, I've had people ask me, what do you do about shipping? What do you do about pricing? Well, Poshmark takes 20%, which used to be more than eBay. But now that I'm promoting on eBay, it's probably about the same because you have to pay that promoted listing fee to get um, more eyes on your items. So it kind of all equals out. Uh, would I have gotten 20 on eBay? I don't think so, maybe, but it sat on eBay for a long time and didn't sell and it actually sold on Poshmark. So something to keep in mind, different eyes on different items, items that are on eBay that are flooded, sometimes do better on Poshmark and Mercari because there is 
less competition. Items are not as flooded on these platforms. Here is another bundle, and this one was also kind of hard for me to, uh, to go down to $65 on, but I did because it was a repeat customer. So I sold these two items for $65. Uh, Poshmark fee, $13. My earnings was $52. So loving the bundles. This is another item that sat on eBay for I don't know how many years, and it sold on Poshmark. Now, another good thing about Poshmark, I'm just going to be straight up about this. eBay, you get returns, especially on swimsuits and dresses for fit. One thing that's great about Poshmark and Mercari, there are no returns unless the item is defective or there is an issue with the item. That is fantastic. Um, I love that about Poshmark and I love that about Mercari. Uh so what I would say is people that are buying on Poshmark and Mercari, they're probably just, if it doesn't fit, they're reselling the item. It's no big deal. They're just going to resell it. And I wish that would happen more on eBay. Typically, if I buy something on eBay and it doesn't work for me, I just resell it and try to make my money back. I hate returns. Um, I hate returning things because I feel bad for the seller and I hate getting returns, but I do accept them. Yarns Brunswick Light Denim Yarn. This is a lot of yarn, and I sold this for $48 on Poshmark. Now, this yarn is another thing that I only put on Poshmark because it was kind of heavy and just, I don't know, it was just one of those, I listed it around the same time I listed those shoes, and I was just in a Poshmark mood. I just wanted to get the items on Poshmark. Should I have these items on eBay? Maybe. I don't think I put this on I don't think I put it on eBay. Maybe I did. Maybe I did end up cross-posting it. Vintage, the Majestic Christmas uh, assortment cards. Um, I do have more yarn listed over here on Poshmark. So if you're looking for yarn, definitely check that out. These are cards. And this took a long time to sell. It was incomplete. And the box was not in great condition. But these are collectible. If you... Um, I guess you could consider it like an ephemera item, paper products that people use for junk journaling and stuff like that. This sold for $24. Junk journaling would have been a good thing to put in the title. This is a Christmas bundle vintage to now lot. So over um, on Whatnot, I had a Christmas show and there were a lot of items that I did not get to um, because I just ran out of time and ended up stopping doing the Christmas items and took what I had left and I made bundles on Poshmark. I made a YouTube video letting people know that those items were available on Poshmark and my viewers came over and purchased them. This is a great reseller lot. This was only $25. So there is definitely some money to be made. I just wanted to get it off my floor and away from my table so that I could move on to sell something else, a new category on whatnot. So this worked out great. Um, I think I sold three or four of these to, um, I think most of the people that bought them were viewers. And this was a viewer sale. So if you were the person that bought this, thank you for your purchase. I really appreciate it. This is a Hallmark Tweety Bird plush. I got $15 for this. I cannot remember where I got it. Probably at a garage sale for 50 cents or maybe the Goodwill bins. Um, this may have come in my, uh, a viewer gave me a bunch of free plush. It might've been in that lot. I cannot recall, but probably had less than 50 cents in it. This is a sewing quilters crafters lot. And I mentioned this one in a, um, oh, what was it? A uh, reseller vlog. So you may have seen this one before. And a lot of people told me I sold it way too cheap. And I'm going to have to agree. Um, they left me awesome feedback and said how much of a great deal it was. But it was heavy. So I kept it right at five pounds. It sold for $39 plus shipping. Here is another bundle. This is a clothing bundle. And these items have been listed for a very, very long time on eBay. Cross posted them to Poshmark. They have been listed a long time on Poshmark. Somebody came in with a bundle. They offered me $41. I took it. Poshmark took $8.20. My net earnings was $32.80. I probably had about a dollar per item. And those were retail arbitrage items. These were back from when I did retail arbitrage and sold only clothing. 
So I've had these items a long time. Here are ties. And I thought these were going to sell really quickly, but they did not. Um, I lotted them up in sets of 10. I picked these up at a garage sale a long time ago. I got a whole box of ties. They were vintage. They were super cool patterns and prints. Maybe I would have done better selling them individually, but I took kind of the lazy road and lotted them up. Somebody came in and these were my last three lots. Some of them sold quicker than others, but they offered me 55 for all 28 ties. And I went ahead and took that. Poshmark took 11 and my net earnings was 44. And I probably have a dollar per lot. So still made a fantastic profit on that. Victoria's Secret Brawls. If you're looking for a Victoria's Secret Brawl, I have a bunch. Um, I am getting down towards the end. I probably had 800 to 1,000 listed at one time. Um, but they're dwindling down. And this set here, they purchased the two brawls, offered me $28.00. And I went ahead and took that. I paid approximately 2 to $3 per brawl at a discount store. And Poshmark took $5.60. My net earnings was $22.40. These are Ikea Lillababo figures, interchangeable parts, and helmets. They are incomplete. These I had to use Google Lens to figure out uh, what they were because I have never seen anything like these before. And Google Lens, if you're not using it, it is a free tool it's an app. Put it on your phone. Use it. You can use it when you're in the thrift store. It is so, so helpful and it's free. I do have a video that shows how to do it. Just type into the YouTube search bar, Bolo Buddies, Google Lens, and it will pull up. Sold these for $10. The next item is this Jelly Cat Bashful Bat Plush. And I think I got this at a garage sale for around a dollar. And Jelly Cat, I just love selling Jelly Cat. I pick them all up. This one sold for $46 plus shipping. The next item I got from the Goodwill Bins. And these were pretty heavy. And I was like, man, should I get them? Should I not get them? And I decided to go ahead and get them. They were book price. So I believe it's 59 cents a pound at my Goodwill Bins. They were new old stock. This is another thing that I did not put on eBay. I only put on Poshmark because it was a heavier item. It was under five pounds. It was going to ship much cheaper on Poshmark than eBay. Sold this for $30 plus shipping. This is a rainbow plush stuffed toy poop. Yes, that's what I said. Um, I don't remember where I got this or what I paid for it, but I think it may have been in maybe that free plush lot. Not sure. Sold it for $9 plus shipping rainbow poop. This one here is an angel brooch, silver in color. It says you are loved on the wing. Sold this for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this vintage peacock brooch. Um, I sold this for $19. One thing you can do is get one of these calipers. They are amazing. They're super cheap. I think 10 to 15 bucks on eBay you can pick this up for. And it measures the item in inches and in millimeters whichever you prefer. I prefer inches, but it's a great way to show your buyers how big the item is. Don't pick these up unless you research them. Oh my goodness, they take forever to sell. Bad buy, bad buy. I bought quite a few of these for a buck a piece. Now, I would look them up because some of them go for decent money, but wow, oh wow, I've had these so long. Sold it for $10 plus shipping, and I was so happy to see this guy go. These are Longenberger Pottery Cookie Molds. Again, look them up just in case, but most of the Santas I have found have not done well. This was a, I just bought it without looking it up because, hey, it's a dollar, it's Longenberger, I think it'll do well. I was wrong. These are Fisher Price Little People, lot of four, and it's just a mixed lot. I sold these for $17 plus shipping. Probably got these at the Goodwill bins or a garage sale for really not much at all. This is a vintage made in Japan soft boiled egg holder. And it's a pink cup. I'd never seen one of these before. I don't recall where I got it. I think it was at a garage sale. I ended up selling this for $22 plus shipping. Here's another Victoria's Secret bra lot. Took a best offer of $30 on the bundle. And Poshmark took six and my earnings were 24, about two to $3 a piece on those that I paid. Caparo's sandals wedge. I got a whole bunch of these listed in a whole bunch of different sizes. These were a retail arbitrage online pickup. I went to David's bridal 
and I purchased a whole bunch of shoes and dresses that were on clearance. Would I ever do it again? Probably not. Have I made a lot of money? Yes, probably, but I'm still sitting on probably about 50 dresses and probably 30 pair of the shoes. How many have I sold? A ton. And I've made money, but these ones that are sitting around taking forever to sell, I'm just ready for them to be gone. Um, another bad thing about the dresses, they are uh, bridesmaid dresses. And you guys, anybody that's been in a wedding and that has went to try on bridesmaid dresses or wedding gowns, you know that they are not really true to size. Uh, they typically run small and depending on your bust and all the different things, sometimes you have to size up and get them altered. So there's a lot of returns on formal and prom and homecoming and wedding dresses. So no, I wouldn't do it again for that reason. One thing um, on eBay, I, I get a lot of returns on the dresses. Sometimes they come back with deodorant on them. And I'm like, you either wore this and are returning it, like did the whole tag tuck and wore it for their event and then returned it. Or you uh, tried it on and you had on a lot of deodorant. But either way, it stinks when things come back damaged, but it does happen. These sho shoes ended up selling for $31. I want to say I paid about 10 to 12. Again, this was retail arbitrage. So you're going to pay a little more when you're sourcing online, but you can sit from the comfort of your home. If you like retail arbitrage, you know, look around at the different websites, things that you know um, and are familiar with and look at the clearance. Also go in and look for coupons that you can use at checkout to get the price down. The next item is this Littlest Pet Shop replacement apple. This was another thing I had to use Google Lens for. This is not a big sale, but I sold this for $9 plus shipping. Probably got it in a mystery box. Express Belt, this was all also in my retail arbitrage days. I bought probably, I don't know, 30 of these belts, different styles and sizes and colors. And I have just been selling them off slowly. This one sold for $19 plus shipping, and I was happy to see it go. Probably had about a buck in that. Here's another pair of shoes from that mystery box. These are Dr. Scholl's Men Cream Boat Shoes. Sold these for $21 plus shipping. I'm pretty excited these shoes are selling. This is a Black's, Black Onyx Carnelian with Fire Agate Necklace. <laughs> you guys are like, wow, you did great on that one. Yeah, because it told me right here on the tag what it was. This sold for $14 plus shipping. The retail price on it was $54. Um, I probably could have got more for it. I, I don't, I don't know. That's just what it sold for. So Matt Stack's Bright Prints cardstock volume, Valum. I don't know how to say it. Paper. This is scrapbooking paper. And I got this in a lot of scrapbooking items. Went ahead and thought, hey, I'll just put it up and see what happens. Sold it for $10 plus shipping. The next item is this awesome necklace. It's a vintage long necklace, floral. Again, horrible keywords. I don't know what it's made out of, but it is just stunning. I think if I would have had better um, keywords, I probably could have sold this for more. Sold it for $23 plus shipping. And the last is a lot of uh, underwear and garter belt. And they offered me $32 for the three items. And... Oh, no, I'm sorry. I sent them an offer. So what you're seeing here is a bundle price of $32. I sent them a seller discount of $3.20. Or actually, I think that's my bundle. I think if they buy more than one item, they get 10% off. That could be. And then the Poshmark fee was $5.76. So my net earnings on this was $23.04. So what do you guys think? Pretty cool, right? All those bundles. I love the bundles on Poshmark. Uh, check out Poshmark if you're not already. List perfectly. If you're on eBay, you can cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. Bam. Bulk cross posting. Awesome. Check out that video down below. Bolo Buddies, all one word, is the code you want to use if you decide that you like it and want to try List perfectly. You get 30% off your first month with referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word. Also, if you're not on Poshmark, I have a referral code down below. You can get $10 to shop when you use that referral code to join. If you're not on Mercari and you want to check out Mercari, you can get $10 to shop with my referral code. And once you sell $100 on Mercari, you're going to get another $20 to shop 
$30. So uh, use those referral links down below, you guys. They get you free money and it also helps me. So I appreciate it when you guys use my links. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Do you sell on Poshmark? Or are you just here to kind of learn about it? Let me know down in the comments if Poshmark is your main platform. If you don't sell on any other platforms, if you're thinking about selling on any other platforms. And let me know if you have any questions. Um, videos popping up here and here, a subscribe button, a video down below and click on another video, check it out. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe and thanks for watching.